This video shows how to create a formula report in Excel Cubed. It's easiest to set up your grid first and then convert it to a formula report. So let's right click on our grid, select Excel Cubed and then Convert To and finally Formula. You'll be asked for confirmation before it's converted. So pressing F2 on a particular cell showed the cells that are referenced. The first parameter is the connection ID, which ties back to the connection screen. After that, the parameters are a series of paired arguments listing the hierarchy, followed by the member to retrieve for that hierarchy. If we right click on a cell and edit Excel Cube Lookup, it will show you the formula and what is being referenced in one of our dialog boxes. With formula reports, you have complete control over the layout of the report. So let's take the value for bikes in quarter two and we'll cut and paste that to another cell in the spreadsheet. As you can see, it can be positioned anywhere and we'll still keep the data connection. So we can now change the report selection by editing a member lookup. So I can double click on all sales territories and change the selection to the Pacific region. You'll see all the figures change, even bikes in quarter two, which we moved away from the main area of the report. So let's put that cell back into the report and change the selection back to all sales territories. Another feature of formula reporting is the ability to use standard Excel formatting. So I could change the hierarchy labels to no fill, change the size of the font and format numbers as required. So let's do a little bit. Now, let's move some of these figures around. I can easily set up reports showing the historic periods to the left and the current period on the right of the member. In this case, we'll use Q4 as the current period and move the other older periods to the left of categories. We can then move Q4 over to. You can double click to drill down into your formula report. As you can see, when I drill down into bikes and clothing, you see figures for each of the subcategories below. Using the Excel3 edit member, I can change the period that is to be reported. In this instance, I'm going to change from Q4 in 2015 to Q3 in 2014. So formula reporting allows you to be extremely flexible with your reports while still remaining simple and straightforward.